welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this particular bralette it is called the mandela bralette because of this detail at the base um i have made this in black and i was supposed to actually record it while i was working with black but then uh i noticed that the stitches wouldn't be seen clearly so i decided to redo it and i use a color that would show the details of the stitching so for this project you're going to need yarn you can use any yarn of your choice and any hook of your choice so i'll be giving general instructions for this particular tutorial the yarn that i'm going to be using is winter king it's a four ply acrylic yarn and then i'm also going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in my ends and then you also need a measuring tape if you need it really but it's not an essential for this tutorial so the first thing that we're going to do is to measure from your nipple down to the base of your breast that's the first measurement that we are going to be working with and you're going to start off with a slip knot And you're going to make a chain from your nipple down to the base of your breast so i'm demonstrating for a size medium and i'll be using um a chain of 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so this is what i usually use for size medium if you're a size small go down to 13 if you're extra small go down to 11 and if you're a size large go to 17 xl you may consider about 17 to 19 or 21 but just to be clear um, this is going to vary from a uh, different size to different size so the best way to determine this is to measure from your nipple down to the base of your breast and have that chain made so after this after a chain of 15 you're going to go into the second chain from the hook with a single crochet single crochet into the next chain and single crochet all the way down until the second last stitch the second last chain sorry Keep working single crochet until the second last chain so i've placed my last single crochet into the second last chain this is my very last chain here and i'll go into it with a total of three single crochets So I'm very sorry I forgot to mention a stitch marker in case you can't um, eyeball the middle stitch. So after your three single crochets here, you're going to go into the middle single crochet, which is the second one, and place your stitch marker there. And you're going to go into the back of the foundation chain with one single crochet into each and every chain. And as I walk this side i'm making sure that i weave in this tail so one single crochet into each and every chain So I'm going into the very last stitch with one single crochet 
and this is how your work will look like so we are going to row two and you're going to chain one turn your work this chain one doesn't count as a stitch The chain one doesn't count as a stitch. That means we go into the very first single crochet with one single crochet and continue to single crochet all the way up until we get to the stitch before the stitch marker. So this is the stitch before the stitch marker you're going to place your single crochet there and then remove the stitch marker from this next stitch and place a total of three single crochets into that space and then replace the stitch marker into the middle stitch which is the second stitch and then continue to place one single crochet into each of the next single crochets all the way down to the base of your bra cup so we are coming to the end of row two and don't forget to go into that very last single crochet and you should always make sure that your bra cup is flat when it comes to the base otherwise you're doing something wrong you may be decreasing when you don't know make sure the base is always flat so we're going to row three and row three is basically going to be the same as row two chain one and turn your work single crochet into the very first stitch and then continue to single crochet all the way up until the stitch before the stitch marker Okay, so I've placed my single crochet in the stitch before the stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker. Replace it with a total of three single crochets. And then put back the stitch marker in the middle stitch of the three single crochets. And then continue to place one single crochet in each of the next stitches all the way down. To the base of your bra cup so don't forget to always place one single crochet into the very last stitch so you can see the base of my bra cup is flat i'm going to continue doing this until i get enough coverage for my uh bra cup so i'll let you know how many rows that i'll have done but go ahead and just keep working this row until you have enough coverage for your bra cup because we are all going to be different when it comes to the width of the breast so go ahead and do that i'll meet you back when i have the number of rows that i need for my bra cup so when you're done with the number of rows needed to um make a full coverage around your bust, around your breast. So this is for a size medium. So I did a total of about 14 rows. Yeah, I did a total of 14 rows. And now we are going to do something else. We are going to create the mesh that goes around the bra cup from here all the way to this side. So you're going to chain four and that counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work you're going to skip the next stitch and go into the next with a double crochet and then you're going to chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat this all the way up until the tip of our bra cup so that is creating a mesh pattern around our bra cup. So 
so right now i have these three stitches at the top and then i have another stitch here so i'm going to skip over this and go into one of the middle stitches you can see that so we have the two stitches in the middle stitch here i'm going to chain one and go into the exact middle stitch which is this one this next one and i'll place one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same stitch chain one and one more double crochet into the same stitch so we've placed a total of four double crochets in that middle stitch and we are just going to mirror exactly what's happening on this side onto this side so you're going to chain one and you can see the next stitch on this side got a double crochet so we shall go into the next stitch on this side just to balance exactly what's happening on this side onto this side so after this you're going to chain one skip one stitch and go into the next with a double crochet chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next and we are going to continue creating the mesh pattern all the way down So we are almost coming to the end of our row and we are placing a double crochet into the very last stitch after skipping over one stitch. So this is what you should have. So after this you're going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet into the chain one space the very first chain one space chain four slip stitch into these two loops on this side the two loops that are facing you you're going to slip stitch into them and then single crochet again into the same space let me do that again single crochet into the next chain one space chain four slip stitch into the two loops of the single crochet that are facing you those two loops there slip stitch into them and then single crochet again into the same space so we are going to continue that all the way up So you should notice that these spikes are popping out on this side and this is the determining factor that's how i determine the right side of my work where these spikes pop that's the right side of my work that means the right side of my work is here i'll consider this as the right side of my work but you can consider any side it's really up to you whichever side looks better for you is what you go with so we are back and um i've reached the top of my work and remember we placed three double crochets into the exact middle stitch so that means the exact middle part of our top is this stitch the second stitch of the three double crochets so this one is the exact middle so um 
I'm going to just continue doing the same exact thing that I've been doing before. So go into the next chain one space, chain four, slip stitch, single crochet, single crochet, chain four, slip stitch, single crochet, and repeat that into each and every chain one space. We shall work on the straps later on. So let me go ahead and do this. I'll meet you guys back at this point and we see what to do from there. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and I have only one space left, which is this one. I'll go into it with a single crochet, chain four, and then slip stitch, and then single crochet again in the same space. So this marks the end of our bra cup. You can see what everything looks like. We've balanced exactly what we did on this side onto this side. So after your last single crochet here, you're going to make a chain of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now the 16th chain is the one that fastens off this chain. We don't count it as a chain. So you fasten off and then you cut your yarn. And at this point, we are done with the very first bra cup with our 15 chains to the side. So we are going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the second bra cup. As you can see, I have this. But uh, make sure that the chain 15 is on the outside it's on this side and then also on this side so if i've decided to have this as my right side where the spike stitches pop on the outside then that means this chain is placed on the wrong side so i'll undo it undo that chain and I'm going to just fasten off on this side this chain will be to attach onto the middle section and then I'm going to go ahead and make my chain of 15 I'm going to make my chain of 15 on this side Make sure your work is facing the same exact side on both bra cups. You don't want to have this one facing this side. And then the client notices that the bra cups are not actually the same. So I'll attach my yarn and chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now that I have my 15 chains, on both sides i'm not going to cut this one because i'm now going to work across both bra cups but the first thing that i'm going to do is to attach the middle section of the bra cups so i'll go into one of the spaces here and i'll pull this chain on this side you can attach with a slip knot that's really up to you you can use a darning needle Actually, this could work because we only have a string on one side, so I can't really tie. So I'm going to just go in and out of several stitches, but at the base, around the same area, trying to attach the bra cups. I think two times is enough. Make sure it's tight enough, and then you'll go into a few stitches of the bra cup sorry make sure it doesn't undo itself and after that you're going to cut your yarn 
So we've gotten rid of the strands that we don't need. So right now, this is how my work will look like. I have my chain of 15 on this side, but here I cut my yarn. But then on this side, I didn't cut my yarn because I'm going to come back and I walk across my work. So um, here I have a chain of 15. I'll add two more chains to make it 17. So these two chains are turning chains. And then I'll go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet. So you count one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain, then double crochet into the next chain, and we are going to go across our chain until we get to the body of the bra cup. Okay, so we have a total of, if you count this very first chain as a chain, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So after that, you're going to go into this row of the spikes and place a double crochet in there. Place two double crochets into the mesh row. And then we're going to place one double crochet into each row of the bra cup. So you're going to just go across placing one double crochet into each row of the bra cup. This is how your work will look like as you work. Make sure you don't skip any row without placing a double crochet. We want our work to look so uniform. Okay, so we're almost coming to the end of the first bra cup and I'm going to place two double crochets into the mesh row and then one double crochet into the spike row and then I'll cross over to the second bra cup into the spike row with one double crochet, two double crochets into the mesh row like that. This is what you have and now we are going to go across the second bra cup just like we did for the first one and I'm going to speed through this because we already know what to do. Okay, so we've made it all the way across. You can see that. And after this, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. And now the next step is to work on the mandala bit here in the middle section to create that mandala design. So you're going to grab your yarn, make a slip knot. 
so um, we have two stitches here in the middle we have one on this side and one on this side so those are our two stitches so we count two stitches to the right and two stitches to the left so after these middle stitches count one and two and attach your yarn there in the second one actually I'm right-handed so I should be counting to this side so one and two and I attach my yarn there okay so we're going to make a chain of five one two three four and five and we're going to skip one two three four and into the fifth you're going to place your slip stitch there now you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work you're going to place a total of 10 double crochets into that chain 5 space this is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we have a total of 10 double crochets in the chain 5 space you're going to skip over one stitch and go into the next with a slip stitch then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to chain one turn your work double crochet into the first double crochet like that chain one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next and we are going to repeat this until all the 10 double crochets are finished this time we are separating them with chain one spaces So we are in the very last stitch with a double crochet let's cross check we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten after your tenth you're going to chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet sorry slip stitch into the next stitch you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work so we're going to double crochet into the first chain one space double crochet into the next double crochet double crochet into the next chain one space so we are going into each stitch and into each space with one double crochet stitch space stitch space and we are going to continue this until all our stitches are done So we've placed a double crochet into the very last stitch and you're going to go into the space as well with a double crochet. So you should be having a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. We have 21 stitches. And after this you're going to skip the next stitch and go into the next 
with a slip stitch so we're going to the next row so you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to turn your work single crochet into the very first stitch chain three skip the next stitch single crochet into the next chain three skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next and we are going to repeat this chain three skip one st stitch and single crochet into the next So you're going to chain your last three chains and go into the last stitch after skipping a stitch. So after this, you're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 chain three loops that we've created. After this, you're going to go into the next stitch on the body of the top with a slip stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to chain three and turn your work then you're going to go into the very first chain three loop with a single crochet chain three single crochet into the next loop chain three single crochet into the next loop chain three single crochet and repeat this until you get to the end so we've placed our single crochet into the very last chain three loop so you'll chain three skip over the next stitch and go into the next with a slip stitch so that marks the end of that row. Your work should look like this. Now you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch of the top. Turn your work and single crochet into the very first chain three loop. Now you're going to go into the next chain three loop with three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact loop. And after this, you're going to go into the next loop with a single crochet. And then you're going to go into the next loop with three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And after this, you're, go you're going to go into the next loop with a single crochet. And you're going to repeat this. We are creating shells for this row. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And then you go into the next loop with a single crochet. And then repeat that so so far we have one two three four and we're going to place our very last shell into this uh, second last chain three loop So when you have your last shell here, you're going to go into the last loop, place your single crochet, 
and then after that you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch of the top so this is what we have you can see um, everything is coming together right now you should have a total of five shells at that point after this you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and you're going to make a chain, chain of seven and then you're going to single crochet into the shell chain seven single crochet into the next shell we are single crocheting into the chain two spaces of the shells chain seven single crochet into the next shell chain seven single crochet chain seven single crochet and then you're going to chain seven and you're going to skip over the next uh, stitch and slip stitch into the next so this is how your work should look like at this point and now we're going on to our next row so you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work so you're going to go into the chain spaces with a total of seven half double crochets so one two three four five six and seven and then go into the next space with a total of seven half double crochets And continue that until all the spaces are done So I've gone all the way across, placing seven half double crochets into each chain space. And after that, you're going to go into the next stitch of the body of the top with a slip stitch like that. This is what you will have. And now we're going to go onto our next step, slip stitch into the next stitch, turn your work single crochet into the first stitch here chain chain three skip one stitch single crochet into the next chain three one two three and this time we're going to skip two two chains two stitches sorry and then single crochet into the third and then chain three this time we skip one single crochet into the next chain three skip two single crochet into the next chain three skip one single crochet into the next chain three skip two single crochet into the next so we are alternating between skipping one stitch and skipping two stitches all the way across so if you skipped one for the previous one the next one you skip two
so this is what we have and I have only one stitch left the previous one I skipped two so I'll chain three skip this one sorry we started with a single crochet that means we should end with a single crochet that means we don't chain here if you have one stitch left just ignore it and go into the next stitch of the body of the top and make a slip stitch because we want to balance exactly what's on this side onto this side then you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches of the top and then you're going to chain three turn your work now the next thing that you're going to do is to go into the next loop with a single crochet chain three single crochet into the next loop and for this row we just go into each and every loop with a single crochet separated by chain three spaces Okay, so we've placed our last single crochet into the last loop and you're going to chain three skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch so right now this is what we have so far and we are going to go on to our final row I just prefer to do this this is my personal preference I notice that my final row is going to be worked on the wrong side because if I turn my work, that means I'm going to be working on the wrong side for my final row, which I don't want at all. So I'm going to just chain one. If you're on your right side, that's really good. Just continue and work your final row. But I'm going to cut this and reattach my yarn on this side. So that I'm working my final row on the right side of my work. So I'll do one single crochet into the first chain three loop. And then place a shell into the next loop. So the shell is three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Just like we did for the shells in the middle of the mandala. These ones. We are repeating the same exact process so we'll be doing plain shells like this but since this is our final row we are going to create a spike just like we did here at the middle section of the shell so this time we are not going to be chaining two so we place three double crochets chain four and then slip stitch and then um, double crochet three more times one two and three and after that you're going to go into the next loop with a single crochet so this is how our final shell will look like after this you're going to go into the next chain three loop with three double crochets chain four slip stitch and then three more double crochets into the same exact loop this is what you have and then single crochet into the next loop so we are going to repeat this Like that and then single crochet 
go all the way around until you get to this point. So if you guys would like to check out some of my other top tutorials, you can click on the link on the screen so that you try it out. You try some of my designs out. I have so many top tutorials, I think, and they are all of different styles. And I believe like most of the people who do crochet find Tops very easy to sell as compared to other garments. So right now I'm placing my very last shell into the second last loop. And then after this, you're going to go into the last chain three loop with a single crochet. And then you're going to go into the next stitch with a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. This is what you should be having. This is how our mandala has turned out. And the next thing that we are going to do is to create straps for our top. I'm not going to be doing the usual straps. I'm going to have individual straps running up and then also individual straps running to the side. How I did this you're going to get your yarn and attach it at the topmost corner of your top so my strap is going to be here and I'm going to chain three double crochet into the same stitch chain three double crochet in between um this stitch and this stitch chain three double crochet in the space below and i'm going to continue doing that until i have a total of 35 segments for my strap just like i did i did for this one I did a total of 30 segments so one two three until 35 and I'm going to do the same on this side so after your 35 segments you're going to chain one and get your pair of scissors and cut your yarn and you're going to pull through this loop so the upper straps are the ones that are going to go behind your neck and then the lower straps are the ones that are going to go below your bust. These ones on the side are the ones that wrap around your bust. And yeah, this is how the top has turned out to be. And the next step that you're going to take is to get rid of all the loose strands that are lying around your top. 
I'll go ahead and do that but uh, your top at this point is pretty much done everything is finished the last step is just to weave in all your ends using a darning needle and get rid of all these strands that are at the end of your straps we don't want to see them here if you would like to attach tassels and or put any accessories on your strands go ahead and do that but i won't do that mine is more of a plain top but at this point your top is done and i hope you guys liked this tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see you in my next video bye